Good morning, this is Jay with the Grateful Sunnites. Sorry about the crazy morning here. I just woke up. I don't know what time it is. 7.45, so we all kind of slept in. The kids are having some pie for breakfast, because, you know, Thanksgiving pies left over. Why not? And Apollo's not up yet. I'm gonna go check on him. It is really foggy, quite, quite foggy this morning, which is kind of pretty. It's not bad if you don't have to, like, go drive in it, so. Um, they're going to finish their breakfast. I've got to find something to eat, too, after I check on Apollo. And then I'm going to go check on the ducklings and make sure that they had a good night. Hi, babies. Good morning. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, yes, hello. <laughs> so they had a good night. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? Do you want some pie for breakfast? Yeah, okay, we'll get you some pie. He wants some pie. Oh, what kind of pie do you want? You want some pumpkin? <laughs> do you want to try a bite before you have pumpkin? Did you help make the pumpkin one? Um, I only know I fly because when they have a teeny tiny bite. Oh, you had a teeny tiny bite? Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, why am I on uh, my feather bag? You're going to write your name on your feather bag? Yeah. Where did you get those? Um, I got their name. You forgot their name? Yeah. Do you remember any of their names? No. No? Did we go visit? Jake and Becky and Uriah and Eli yesterday from White House on the Hill? Yeah. And were they super nice and let you have a bunch of feathers? Yeah, you would want to name all White House on the, White House on the Hill. Oh yeah, was your been joking about that? I wanted. Yeah. Are you going to put your name on there? Where are you going to put it? I hope it's for like White yeah. Okay, you do it. I know you can do it. Can you get it open? You got it. Good job. Why is it blue? It's a little blue. You love blue? Okay, go ahead and do it. The A? I can play by it is but I you be I good at the on hip hop. Very nice. That, Apollo. That A. Mm -hmm. P. E. No, P. P. O. O. L. L. O. -L -O. That's right. So he's learning his letters and he knows some of them, but he can write his name just from watching us write it. He figured it out. Very cool, buddy. Yeah. Today is the day that all the fall decor is getting put away and we're getting out Christmas stuff. We get out the kids' Hi. winter coats and gloves and hats and things for them to try on to make sure they all fit. Hi. 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 Yeah, I made this hat for Ruben when he was two years old before we had a Nara and they've all worn it. Now my little hat. Now it's your little hat. You've got it on a little crooked. And you're starting to outgrow it. It's toddler sized. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a tassel, believe it or not, and it's kind of dead. It's so cute. so cute. Yeah. Aren't you really warm in that? No? Yeah. All right. Well, we are going to get the fall decor put away. And before I put it away, it's a little messy, but I'm going to show off my beautiful fall decor over here. It won't. I love fall. It's my favorite season, so I'll be a little bit sad to see it go, but the kids are excited for Christmas stuff, so it's all right. So we, on our property, have this junk pile. Junk pile. <laughs> and um, there's just a lot going on here. There's lots of dead limbs. There's um, live trees, some shrubbery. There's a lot of rocks. You can see these rocks right here. So we've got to clean it out. I really don't like it just being here. Um, so we're going to take a bunch of the dead limbs and things. We're going to bring them and put them over here and make a, make ourselves a big pile. Pile. Sorry, he was talking while I was talking. We're going to make a big pile over there so that we can have a big bonfire later in the season. My parents had a big pile that they used to put stuff on in a backfield. We'd always have a bonfire every winter and it was really fun. So we are going to put it 
over here away from trees and things so we can have a bonfire and then we're gonna just try to assess as we find new things because I'm sure there's actual garbage in here somewhere too what to do with all of it yes sir you need to show me something what are you showing me or you need to show them something them is you by the way Dad mowed all this away? Yeah. Wow. So we're out here trying to get the corners of our garden put in with the tea posts. I don't think there's ever been a garden here before. It's just been pasture. So we're going to put that in and Kurt's going to mow it and then we're going to mulch it with whatever we have to mulch with. Slight change of plans, we're going to halt work on the bonfire pile and we're going to clean out some of the chicken coop so that we can use it on the garden and then take a lot of the um, grass cuttings and put them in here as mulch. We're letting some of them come out to free range, they haven't been out in a while. <laughs> come on, hi peaches. We can't let the pea fowl out because they don't know how easy they would be to catch but the chickens can all come out and hang out. So we have the whole area mowed. And we've been working on cleaning out <coughs> poultry bedding to put in here and we'd had a pile of some of it already started up by the barn. And we're getting that brought over and put on here and some leaves. We still have plenty of space that we don't have anything for, but that's okay. We're going to do our best. We're going to get this on here. We're going to clean up the duck pen here in a couple more weeks so that we'll get another good layer on part of it and then over the winter we'll collect the rabbit manure and sprinkle it over the parts that um, didn't get any of the poultry manure <coughs> excuse me because the rabbit manure does not de need to break down so it can go on on up and like right as we're planting so we're just going to try to cover it as best we can and then we'll definitely try to mulch this out with leaves even if we can't get the manure on it for the moment and then over here we have a little strip that is now mowed and we should be getting our blackberry plants in here soon so it's this strip down here I think we ordered 25 of them so we're gonna get those here soon and get those into the ground this fall I don't think that we'll get berries in this coming year but hopefully the next one anyway so blackberries big garden plot and then I'll probably have to do raised beds for greens because this is going to get way too much sun I think for greens to be happy so I'll do some raised beds somewhere else for the greens I have blue paint I have blue paint can you see? are you peeling off the paint? yep it's a pretty blue paint I don't know what this was so it might have been trim yeah I don't know what this I don't know either Uh, the one we had when I was growing up was a lot bigger than that. It was really big. In fact, Grandpa would have to go and get it started hours before we went down to cook on it so it would burn down small enough we could cook, or low enough, I guess. huge mouse it might be a rat it's that big it is huge I take it it's been living in here for a while and it's not happy that we are invading I really just can't see there it's big like it's big it would fill up my hand be a rat. it's a rat <laughs> 
haven't seen any snakes, but we have a rat in here, so I'm going to be careful how I do stuff. It's not going to be thrilled that we're moving all these things. Poor thing. Hi, baby. You'd bite me if you could, huh? Rat's leaving. The kids are getting tired, and it's getting later in the day. It's almost 3 o'clock, so um, we're going to just kind of be done probably outside for the moment. So we still got to get into our Christmas stuff, don't we? I've got a pretty nice layer of mulch in here of cut grass. They're seeming to enjoy it. We've got them all back in from the ones that were allowed to go out and have some time outside. They're pretty happy, but we still need to get some straw down in here. So I just sent someone to grab some straw. They're already in here eating their dinner. Hey, sweetie. So we're going to get some straw down in here, and then I think that's about it for outside chores other than just regular animal chores where they come out and feed and water everybody. that what? Kurt built. I'm going to try to talk loud because the ducks are being loud. But he hung it up in here. It's going to go in the garage, but for the winter they can just be in here. And since these two are siblings, they're together. If we run into any issues once, once they have babies where they really just can't be together, then we can split them up. There's a door in the divider here that's currently open. Um, so they've got space, but we have them just set up in here. So we gave them this box to cuddle up in, and it was plenty big, but now that they're getting a little bit bigger, both of them are in there. So there's one bunny right there, and then the other bunny is up on top of her. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find him a bigger box. But you look pretty cozy. You look like you're going to take a nap. Both of you do. Well, we didn't get into the Christmas stuff. We came inside, everybody got their showers, except for me, I still need to take mine. We had dinner and then the kids played some Stardew Valley. So, Christmas stuff is gonna happen tomorrow after church. Um, we've gotta get them in bed here soon. They're watching Kurt play for a little bit. And I think we're all still a little bit tired from yesterday, plus we did a lot of work today, a lot, a lot. I am so grateful that I have a family that all of us are hard workers and willing to get out there and get stuff done because with all those hands it makes a lot lighter work. Anyway, I gotta go and get them ready for bed. I gotta get my shower and get into bed myself because we've gotta get up and get ready for church in the morning. So we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, bye.